let's look at a super fast, super simple way to add navigation to a PowerPoint creating an instant e-learning using Adobe Captivate 2017. Use the From PowerPoint option from the Adobe Captivate 2017 launch screen to import a PowerPoint deck into your project. Now, you're going to first want to disable the on mouse click to advance slide and instead just set it to automatically advance the slide, then hit OK. Captivate will bring in all the slides from your PowerPoint deck. I'm using control key plus minus here. So I'm holding down the control key and hitting the minus key in order to just resize the screen area so that I can have it a little bit smaller as I work. It'll make my life a little bit simpler. Now I want to add navigation controls to most of the slides that are identical. So to do that, I'm going to use the master slide to be able to add them in a big group. I'll come over here to the properties inspector, clicking on the properties inspector button to open that tab and then click on master slide view. My next step is going to be to add a navigation master slide. To do that, I'll duplicate a blank slide. I've duplicated the slide and I'm just gonna rename my new master slide to navigation, just like so. Now I'm going to use the shape objects to draw some new shapes and place them in to use as the next and the back buttons. Click on the right arrow there to add a little next button just like so. I want to type in there, so I'm going to put in the word NEXT in all caps. And I'd like to have that arrow shaped a little differently. So I'm just going to grab that little yellow element and drag it over a little bit to the right hand side. I'm having trouble seeing it, so I'm going to go in here and just use the control plus to zoom in a little closer on that object and then click here to move the item over to the position that I want it to be in. And now I've got the arrow shaped the basic way that I want it to be shaped. Now, before that arrow is gonna work for me, I'll need to turn it into a button. Um, I want to turn it into a button, but first I'm gonna change the fill color to a nice default green and that'll be the color for my end piece. I'll choose the use as button option here, and then automatically a new action panel will be added, and go to the next slide is selected as the default action. And that's what I want it to do anyway. I want it to go to the next slide. In addition to that, object states were added when I changed it to a button. So now in addition to the normal state, there's a rollover state. And I don't much like that gray color, so I'll change it to a highlighted green color. And then finally, there's a down state. And I, again, don't much like the black color, but I do like the dark green. So I'll change it into a dark green color. Now I've filled out my colors for my basic buttons, and I can use those across different buttons in the project. So what I'm gonna do is, with this object selected, I'm going to look under the style menu and using the drop down menu, I will create a new style and I'll call this new style navigation button, just like so. Now I'm ready to create my other button. So I know that I've got one button, which is the right arrow button. I want another button, which is gonna be a left arrow button. I'll select the left chevron here from the set, and I'll draw that left chevron out. I'm gonna also change the shape of the left chevron so that I move that little pointer and get it a little more the right size. Now, I want this to be a button as well, so I'll click the use as button option here in order to change it into a button. I want it to use the style of the navigation button, so I'll click the navigation button style there to establish the style. I want it to say back, so I'll double click and then type back in all caps, just like so. And then finally, I wanna match the size and the shape. So I'll go to the options tab, find that it's 52 by 120 pixels, and I'll come over here to the other one unlock the constraints, change it to 52 
by 120. Is that what we said? Let's double check. 52 by 120 pixels. Okay. And so now we have two buttons that are essentially the same size and shape, except that one goes to the right and one goes to the left. And I'll just use my little arrow keys to align those to where I want them to be. And you'll notice as I use those arrow keys, Captivate gives me hints and shows me that they're aligned on the center axis. Now I've got my back and my next buttons in place and I'm ready to exit the master slide button um, for now. But before I do that, I wanna just quick check the back button, check the actions, and see what the default action is. There it says go to the next slide. I actually want it to go to the previous slide. So I'll just click on go to the previous slide for the back button. Now I can click exit master and I'm all set with that. Now I want to apply those navigation buttons to all the middle slides in the project. So I'm just gonna go here and select, shift select all of the slides from two to 17. With those selected, I'll choose the master slide option and switch it from blank to navigation. And you can see now when I close the property inspector that the back and the next slides have been added to all of the slides inside the project. Now for that last slide, I just want the back button. How can I get that quickly and easily? Well, I wanna go back into the master slide view and then here in the master slide view, you can see I've got the back button selected. Control C on a PC will copy that and I can hit the exit master button. Then I can choose that last slide and Control V on a PC will paste it in place. Likewise, I can do the same basic kind of thing by going back to the master slide view and then there choosing the next button and I can use that on the first piece in my project. So I've copied it and now I'll close it. If you're on a Macintosh, by the way, don't use the control key, use the command key. So control V on a PC to paste that last button or command V on a Macintosh. And so now all my navigation controls are in place. One last step for me, go to the windows option and then choose the skin editor. I just need to switch off this button for the playback control and this button for the borders. This will make sure that the navigation I've placed is the only navigation that's showing. So I won't get that extra playback control bar at the bottom of my screen. When I'm ready, I just click on publish and then publish to computer. Now you can see the finished project in place. Notice that the rollover highlights. When I click down, you see the down state of the button and the project automatically advances to the next screen. You can use this to do back buttons, next buttons, home buttons, navigation buttons across your entire project and otherwise. Very simple way to easily add navigations to an existing PowerPoint project and set up your e-learning quickly and effectively.